The goal for this video is to achieve 6 GHz from BIOS to Windows with this Ryzen 9 7900X CPU. I'm on the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E motherboard with BIOS 9805 and the Ryzen 9 7900X 12 core processor. I also have 32GB of DDR5 memory installed. The default frequency is 4700 MHz, but we'll quickly sort that out to get a higher frequency. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 2. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and associated memory timings. Set E-Clock Mode to Asynchronous Mode. This enables an external clock generator to adjust the CPU frequency regulated by the Precision Boost algorithm. Ryzen 7000 has three clock generator modes, internal, external synchronous, and external asynchronous. In external asynchronous mode, one clock generator is used exclusively for the CPU core frequency. Set BCLK2 frequency to 106.60 MHz. That will increase our precision boost algorithm frequencies by 6.60%. In our case, the maximum boost frequency ceiling increases from the factory programmed 5700 MHz to 6076 MHz. Set memory frequency to DDR5-6000. While our memory kit is rated at DDR5-6400, unfortunately our CPU isn't able to run that frequency. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Enabled. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the motherboard auto rules. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Negative. Set Max CPU Boost Clock Override to 75. This decreases the frequency ceiling by 75 MHz from the programmed max 1T limit. On this Ryzen 9 7900X, that's 5700 MHz. Reducing this by 75 MHz results in a ceiling of 5625 MHz, but adjusted by our E-clock of 106.60 MHz, that becomes 5996 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu and set Curve Optimizer to Per Core. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. That is what we need in our overclock. For every core, set Curve Optimizer sign to positive. For cores 0, 2, 3, 4 and 5, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 21. For Core 1, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 1. For Cores 6, 7, 8, 10 and 11, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 3. For Core 9, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 6. Set CPU Core Voltage to Offset Mode. Set Offset Mode Sign to Plus. Set Offset to 0.035. This adds an additional 35 millivolt to the CPU Core Voltage on top of what the Precision Boost algorithm already sets. Then hit F10 and save the settings. So now let's load up the operating system and check CPU-Z. As you can see, we get 6000 MHz right away. If we check the cores individually, we see that all the cores in CCD0 hit 6 GHz. We can also run a quick Super Pi 1M, though the system isn't stable for 24 7 usage. Maybe a quick note on the cooling system. I'm using the EK Quantum Velocity 2 AM5 prototype with EK Exact mount and a Coolstream PE360 radiator. And that's it. I thank you for watching and my patrons for the support, and see you next time.